Published 9:24 Eastern Standard Time, the 3rd of February 2018. Updated 10:15 Eastern Standard Time, the 3rd of February 2018. Johan Berg Guthmundsen almost took the roof of Turf Moor with a late equaliser to force a draw against champions elect Manchester City. City, fielding only six substitutes because of a lengthening injury list, had appeared ready to go 18 points clear when Brazilian Danilo struck from outside the box midway through the first half. Plenty of chances were missed on both sides in the second period, most notably when Raheem Sterling missed a sitter from three yards to make the game safe for City, until Guthmanson got goalside of Kyle Walker to volley Matt Lowton's cross after 82 minutes. Johan Berg Guthmanson converted late on to rescue a point for Burnley after trailing for much of the game. The Icelandic international controlled the finish perfectly, and Edison could not handle the pace and precision. Guthmanson sent the fans at Tuff Moor into raptures as there was a deafening cheer at the equalising goal. Raheem Sterling squandered a remarkable opportunity with a candidate for miss of the season in the second half. The diminutive forward could hardly believe it as the ball squirmed wide as he failed to double the advantage even though the Clarets still haven't won a game in 2018. They will regard a point as success given that City forced 13 corners and had more than 70% possession. Though a draw surely won't stop City being crowned champions in May, there were maybe a few signs that their 10th game in 35 days had caught up with them. Before Guthmanson's goal, Edson had done well to keep his side ahead by tipping an Aaron Lennon shot onto the bar. Adiola added skipper Vincent Company, Danilo and Bernardo Silva to the starting lineup that beat West Brom 3-0 on Wednesday with record signing Imeric Laporte on the bench. Missing were David Silva, Hip, John Stones, Ill, besides longer-term casualties Leroy Sane, Ankle, Phil Foden, Ankle, and Benjamin Mendy, Gabriel Jesus and Fabian Delph, all out with knee injuries. Kevin De Bruyne left Bernardo Silva, centre, and goalscorer Danilo celebrate Manchester City taking the lead Danilo cut inside onto his right foot following a corner and blasted a wonderful finish into the top right corner Pope dived helplessly as the ball flew into his top corner and the Home fans watched on in disappointment City took 22 minutes to break the deadlock and it was Danilo's first away goal since joining Manchester City for Burnley. Eight games without a win since December, Sean Dyke named an attacking side with two strikers, Sam Vokes and Ashley Barnes. Company's return meant City had an extra asset physically having complained of rough treatment in recent games. In the Belgians' first aerial challenge, Ashley Barnes was left grounded. Sam Vokes and Phil Bardsley then sought treatment following City's first corner. A dag tactic to break up play perhaps. It was a stifled start to the game. City took 15 minutes to carve out a good opening when Company flung himself at a deflected Bernardo Silva cross but made contact with Burnley, keeping Nick Pope instead of the ball. But having successfully navigated the opening 22 minutes, Burnley's defence went mysteriously AWOL for Danilo to score. Kevin De Bruyne played a short corner to Silva and when he squared a pass to Danilo just outside the penalty area, Burnley hung back to cover Sergio Ajero and the other supposed danger men. Given space and time, Ashley Barnes was closest to him and he didn't rush forward, Danilo had no problem firing into the top corner. Although it will be hailed as a great strike, most Premier League players would have the ability to capitalise on the time and space he was given. It was the Brazilian fullback's second goal for City following his £26.5 million summer move from Real Madrid. City relaxed having made the breakthrough. Sterling was on the receiving end of a challenge by Jack Cork, but dusted himself down to fire a shot that Pope saved well. Pope stretches out in an attempt to make a save as Vincent Company stoops to head the low cross. Jeff Hendrick boots a clearance for Burnley as Ilkay Gundogan leaps up to try to block the midfielder's ball. Pep Guardiola applauds his. Side after they take the lead and begin to dominate proceedings at Turf Moor, Nicholas Otamendi reacts in frustration after the Manchester City defender spurns an opportunity in front of goal. Burnley came out of their shell and nearly levelled after half an hour. Cork hooked across into the box and ex City defender Ben Mee caught it nicely on the volley, forcing the previously inactive Edison to make a great save with his strong left hand. Normal service was resumed after that with De Bruyne's shot parried by Pope with a rebound coming too quickly back at Aguero for the Argentine to control and score. Burnley collected bookings for Kevin Long and Cork as City's passing moved up a gear. There was nearly time for them to add a second before the interval but Aguero's finish struck Pope on the chest after the striker was played in by De Bruyne. Matt Lowton replaced Bardsley in the Burnley defence at half-time. 
Lotan was quickly into the action, blocking Aguero's shot with his back. City clearly wanted the second goal to put the game to bed and forced a flurry of corners. Ilke Gundogan was pulling the strings in midfield, and Aguero set up Sterling who skied it under pressure from Johan Guthmanson. Danilo then tried his luck again from distance. This time Pope got his fingernails to the ball and tipped over. Kevin De Bruyne powers forward in possession as Jack Hawk hauls him by the arm in a midfield battle Edison stretches to save with a firm left palm as Burnley have a rare attempt on goal in the game Raheem Sterling blasts a shot as two Burnley defenders close the England winger down in the second half Gundogan takes evasive action as Kevin Long slides in with a full-blooded challenge sending the German tumbling Long received a yellow card for his clumsy challenge as referee Martin Atkinson took his name in the book Burnley's opportunities were few and far between but when Gundogan was booked for a daft foul on Aaron Lennon, Guthmanson swung a brilliant free kick into the box. Three Claret players got in behind City who defended a high line and Sam Vokes and me seemed to almost get in each other's way as the ball evaded both of them. Midway through the second half, the home side went even closer. A brief stumble by company allowed Guthmanson a free run on the left. The Icelander switched the ball inside to Cork and he moved on to Lennon. The former England winger hit his right-footed shot well, but Edison responded brilliantly by pushing onto the crossbar. It served as a wake-up call for City. De Bruyne released Kyle Walker at the other end and his cross was a tap-in for Sterling, who tried to steer the ball in from three yards and missed. He berated himself loudly for giving up the chance. Sterling was replaced soon afterwards by youngster Brahim Diaz. For the first time, Burnley were the team pressing to score. And when Walker momentarily went to sleep Guthmanson capitalised with the Icelander producing a brilliant volleyed finish Manchester City were frustrated after missing plenty of opportunities to extend the lead over the 90 minutes Pep Guardiola side had plenty of chances but failed to extend the lead to 18 points at the top of the table.